a mixed organic farm in North Pembrokeshire. Dairy is our main enterprise. We have 370 milking cows. We rear our own beef from those dairy cows. We keep a thousand ewes and we try and be as self-sufficient as we can. So we grow grain to feed the dairy cows and obviously silage. This is a lay that we planted last year, sowed in spring. Designed by Germinal, this contains um, high sugar, a variety of grasses, mixture of perennial ryegrass, hybrid ryegrass, and a couple of different white clover species. It tends to be acidic in Wales in general, so we aim for pHs between 6 and 6.5 really. P and K levels above 2. You don't want to compact it too much, you want to make sure the nutrients are correct, you just want to look after it really. Grassland management is key to it and we do get involved a lot with that in terms of timings of cuttings, growth stage of grass, growth stage of clovers, how the clovers interact with the grasses and that sort of thing. Well, phosphate and potash levels are, are quite tricky to manage on an organic farm. We use clover um, in pretty much every grass seed mix we use. We like to think of ourselves as trying to improve productivity in an environmentally sensitive way. We have clovers and deep rooting herbs and legumes that can help with production, help with intake, fix nitrogen, reduce the need for bought in nitrogen. I think it's vital really for us. Without it, we wouldn't get the nitrogen you need for, for grass growth. Plus it puts protein into the silage as well, so it's a, it's a sort of double win really. We've got high sugar grasses that can reduce the amount of ammonia that comes out of the back of the animal and increase live weight gains and therefore reduce methane and things like that. If the farm's more efficient, it's more sustainable in many ways, the environment and the business. The weather patterns are changing and having the versatility in the grass and the forages is becoming massively important to them. It's part of the relationship between sustainability, efficiency and profitability. But we have specific needs like, like many farmers do, so it's been important that we have something that's designed specifically for us. We're looking at clovers now because of the flower and the pollinators and the insects that's attracted. The biodiversity of the sward is becoming a much bigger issue and they're also fixing carbon. If we're more efficient and more sustainable on the farm then that will work for the environment as well.